the t h e c o g f x study dot com the cog f x study dot com. What did it do? It put it put people in clean air in Boston, in a green platinum building, and in one room they extra ventilated the room when the C O two levels were under six hundred ppm. And the other room, you are allowed in a platinum building. You're allowed 600 ppm over ambient, so the 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 CO2 levels could have been a thousand ppm. The average of CO2 in the world is 408. In Delhi today, this morning it was 420, but it was still okay. Now what they found, and within six hours, they tested people for different kind of skill sets. For example, people who use their mind. To do work, their cognitive abilities went in six in about five six hours. It went up by sixty one percent at an average. Now, what is cognitive abilities? Is the ability to put two plus two together. In other words, to be able to understand. It's not increasing your IQ, but it is able to achieve allow you to achieve your full potential as a human being. Now. Over a period of seven days, they found that the people in the extra ventilated room, their cognitive abilities improved by as much as two hundred and ninety-nine percent. Now, what does this mean? Now, this is all for all of you sitting here who are young. I don't see any old ones anywhere except maybe one or two here. So, for the young people, my view is that get your CO two less than six hundred ppm. Especially in a place under your control. What is under your control is your bedroom. Six to one third or one fourth of your life you spend in your bedroom. So if you get your bedroom right at less than six hundred ppm, then your cognitive abilities would be much higher. I spent some time in Japan talking. The governor there invited me to one of the governors of the state invited me to talk about.